Welcome to a, another edition of Summer Arts, our summer edition, which we're always excited about because there's always a lot to do in Somerville in the summer. With me is Liza Kitchell from the Somerville Community Growing Center, better known as the Growing Center. <laughs> How are you doing, Liza? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for having us on your show. Welcome, yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, with the Growing Center, we've partnered, uh, Somerville Media Center has mm -hmm. partnered with you many times over the years. That's true, and you're coming back this summer. I think Heather McCormack is bringing all of her wonderful students in August to show their films. Excellent, yeah, we're looking yeah, forward to that. Nice. Yeah. Now, you're you're coming off of a season of being closed mm -hmm. for renovations, and I'll let exactly. you I'll let you talk about that, but, but you're having a grand reopening opening on the 22nd. We are, right. We're very excited about this. Um, because the Growing Center, which if um, your viewers don't know, we're right in Union Square, just up Summer Street at the corner of Vinyl Avenue. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, we're a city-owned urban oasis, kind of a little green space in the city. And um, we're um, managed completely by volunteers. So we're mm -hmm. open only when we're having events or volunteers are there. But um, yes, we've been the recipient of three of the city CPA grants. Those um, are the Community Preservation Act grants, which um, residents voted on a while back to give um, funds to um, renovating green spaces and historical spaces, so we're a green space. And the Growing Center is 25 years old this year, wow. and it's had a lot of love and a lot of use. <laughs> and so um, we've undergone a complete renovation, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's wonderful. And so, yes, we closed last fall, and um, Belco landscapers who did the work were able to work all winter because the weather was so great. And so um, we will be reopening on Saturday, June 22nd, 9.30 in the morning. Mayor Joe will be there to cut the ribbon. We'll have lots of music and festivities, and so we hope people will come and help us celebrate. Great. That's exciting. Can you uh, can you give us uh, a little uh, preview, maybe, of like what the space might look like now? Because I know when you walked in, you had the tool shed, and then you had that little tiered area on the right. right. Yeah. And then the pond in the back. Yeah. Has any of that changed dramatically? Actually, it has changed quite dramatically. Wow. Yeah. Right. The pond is no longer there, and um, what we've done is we've landscaped it, and we've. Um, we had numerous um, charrettes with um, people in the community. Anybody could come and give their ideas what they wanted the growing center to look like. Because we actually consider it to be, um, the growing center belongs to all the residents mm. of Somerville. And it's basically their backyard, you know, somewhere they can just come and hang out outside. Yeah. So um, over four years, put together all of those ideas and, um, one thing we've done is we have landscaped it in order to manage the water that naturally runs down the slope. And so where the pond was is now going to be a rain garden, just filled with plants that can easily use all the water they're going to get there. At the very top, we will have a fruit orchard. Mm. There's a lovely little sitting space at the top. And then as we come down the various um, levels, we will have kind of like a, a meadow type feel to one of the gardens. Other ones will be um, herbs and um, various plants that you can make teas and things like that. So our urban medicinal tea garden. And um, then the, the sort of amphitheater seating is still there. Um, the labyrinth really needed work. Mm. So the labyrinth came out piece by piece and it's being stored and we were having a redesign um, sort of competition, mm. getting ideas for that and that's being worked on. And so this summer it'll just be grass sod and at the end of the summer we'll, instore, we'll um, install um, a whole new labyrinth. Wow. We don't know what it'll look like yet too, which oh, is really? kind of exciting. We have a whole team who's <laughs> designing <to> that. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's great. And a completely redesigned compost area and we've had um, the wonderful work of the students at the high school in the carpentry shop and the metal shop. 
and they're designing all new storage um, all throughout the garden. They'll look like benches and things like that. And then the metal shop has designed uh, railings and um, gorgeous um, fences for our bee area and also for the whole compost area. So, you know, people have to come and see, see yeah. really what they did. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it, it's different. It's really different. That that sounds exciting. It uh, is. And I'm trying to, I was trying to picture it as you were talking about it, <laughs> yeah. but I'm just going to have to go on the 22nd like just everybody else. Just go and else. see. <laughs> right. Or someday after we're open all summer long. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Now, what other events are you, are you t um, having at after your opening? Yeah, well I think what makes us um, sort of unique at the Growing Center is that we have programming all summer long that's just um, created by people in the community. Mm. Yeah, and um, so one of, we have a couple of series happening. One of them is a series of children's book authors who are going to come and read their books and share them and then we'll have an activity with it. And that grew out of one of our volunteers, Jacob Kramer, who published his um, first children's book this year called Noodle Fant. Mm. And so we thought, oh, you know, we started looking around for other children's book authors and Somerville is just absolutely filled with really talented yeah. <laughs> illustrators and writers. So those people will be James Weiber, Aaron Cohen, Jeff. Chekai. Yes, thank you. I do not know how to pronounce it. You saved me. Thank you. Jacob Kramer, uh, Barat Babies, who does um, books from the Indian subcontinent. Yeah. Mm. And possibly We the People, who's another outfit in um, Boston. Wow. Yeah. And so that'll be throughout the summer. Yeah, that'll be on Sunday afternoons. Sunday right. afternoons. All right, we'll have to look out for that. And we also have a, a summer music series, too. There are free music concerts, usually on a Thursday evening, so you know people can stop by after work. It'll be open, you can picnic. Mm -hmm. And those will be um, a sing-along of songs from musicals. And we hand out the lyric sheets so everybody can just sing along to your favorite musical. Uh, Yiddish sing-along, too. Wow. Uh, Gypsy jazz band, who's absolutely wonderful. Kind of like Django Reinhardt type music. Mm. Mm. Um, a samba duo, guitar and vocals, um, uh, the Gloucester Hornpipe and Clog Society, they do sea chanties and Irish music, and then Shaboom, who's a women's um, percussion ensemble. So those are our six musical acts. We'll Sounds be like a nice eclectic mix of Very music. eclectic, yes, right, we like eclectic. Uh -huh. <laughs> we do have other things. We have a very healthy, um, program of play groups for young children and families, so a lot of programming for families too. Our two main play groups, and everything is free, everything is accessible, everything is open to the public. Um, play groups Tuesday afternoon, 3.30 to 5.30, and Friday morning, 9.30 to 12. Just show up, you know, hang out, bring your kids, wonderful, nice time to hang out outside. And then we're also starting a new collaboration with Head Start here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and they'll have their own separate um, play groups Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of interesting. Um, what we will be emphasizing with them is something called healthy, risky play. Mm. So it's getting kids outside, and it's kind of like, I guess, what we used to do as kids, you know, climb trees, you know, climb walls, run around, get dirty, play in water, yeah. Yep. So we just kind of, our mission is basically just to offer green space, a nice little sanctuary within the city, and time just to be outside, mm. too. It's the time of year for it, it really it is. definitely <laughs> is. We also have a couple of health and wellness um, activities offered, too. We have family yoga. Uh, regular yoga, we have qigong, we have a couple of really interesting dance offerings too. Mm. Um, ecstatic dance, maybe a little bit of Sufi dancing, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Yeah. And then something called five rhythms too, so they're all kind of health and wellness oriented. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, eclectic. Yeah. As you say right. And so the, those uh, are they scheduled on any particular day during the week, or, or people should just those go to your are, website? They should go to our website, which is www.thegrowingcenter.org. Yeah, we have our full calendar there. Yeah. And is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to? 
any one event? Or? Well, I produce the music series, okay. so that's always my That's near and dear to your heart. <laughs> yes, it is, yeah. I also do a, a free children's art activity on Wednesday afternoon, so you can just drop by and there's always an art activity to do too. And, um, but also, um, we have a lot of nature-based programming too, mm -hmm. and just want to make sure that people know about some of those activities too. We will be having um, monthly potlucks um, to discuss food security and issues around growing food mm -hmm. and making sure that people have enough to eat and healthy food. So that those will be interesting discussions. The, um, there's been a lot of talk about food security, yeah, especially in this area and right. pertaining to uh, college students. Uh huh. Really? Yeah, and yeah. and food security for college students yeah. as well as. Uh, 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 people who don't have as, as much means as right. an maybe, average person. Or maybe not access to good healthy vegetables yeah. and fruits, right. Though the city's doing a great job with the mobile um, farmer's market too. It's and the, the SNAP into, program. And the SNAP program, I love it, yeah, right. I think, I think people just really love the Growing Center um, for, the, for the outdoor space that it mm -hmm. provides, um, the amphitheater, Yes, space right. so you can yeah. build an event very easily. That's true. Um, right. With with that with that seating, um, and just uh, you know, there. Not to editorialize too much, but there's yeah. a lack of green space in Somerville compared to some of the other cities around us. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And so you know, we we want to really uh, cherish our our green spaces right. and our parks. Yeah. Um, and advocate for more. Exactly, right. <laughs> <laughs> and and the Growing Center is a good example of yeah. why we need more yeah. green space and spaces right. like this. Yeah, yeah. So we just want people to know that it's there for them. Mm -hmm. And we really want them to just come and be involved all summer long, too. And we're always looking for volunteers if people want to come and do some planting, growing, Whatever, there's opportunities all the time, you know, to get your hands a little bit dirty and find out about doing a little bit of urban agriculture too. Excellent. There. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So if if you're interested in any one of these events, or if any any one or more of these events, or if you're interested in volunteering or just being in touch with the Growing Center, go to the website, mm -hmm. thegrowingcenter.org. Thegrowingcenter.org, exactly. And yeah. uh, I want to thank you, Eliza, for coming on today. And uh, we're excited for the opening and the reopening of this space and, yes. uh, and, and seeing it take shape. Thank you so much, Dave, for having us here. It's been really nice.